Welcome back to Western Mass News. Matt Stilley alongside Casey Dorn. Fortunately, it feels like the humidity dropped a little bit today. Yeah, it did. I think it's going to be relatively short-lived, but it was relatively refreshing. It was a comfortable day compared to yesterday. Yeah. Uh, did you get outside? I did. I did. Uh, yesterday, went for a little run. Today, uh, actually stopped by a local park, saw some dogs headed for a swim. I ran into Jana Brown there and her three pups, so ah. <laughs> great to meet. <laughs> uh, they were wet and they were tired. Well, they're going to have more opportunities to be oh. wet as we head into this week. As we take a look right now at our tropics tracker, we're enjoying some nice, calm, and enjoyable weather. But as it is typically the case in this area, uh, it won't last for too long. We're tracking two different tropical disturbances, hurricanes, uh, in one case, Hurricane Franklin, and another storm, Tropical Storm Idalia, which is going to likely become a hurricane in the next couple of days. So let's start with Hurricane Franklin. It's currently a Category 2 as of the 5 p.m. advisory, and it's going to continue to track to the north and east over the next couple of days, likely impacting portions of Bermuda as a Category 3 major hurricane with winds of 115 miles per hour. Now, the good news is this system is going to remain far enough off of uh, the U.S. coastline that it won't really impact us or really anyone along the coast with winds or anything like that. But we won't be spared from the rain as a system begins to work up from the south and taps into some of that moisture, which we'll talk about in just a couple of minutes. And then we have a second system which formed earlier today, currently a tropical storm, Tropical Storm Medallia, which is over the Yucatan Peninsula with winds of 40 miles per hour. And this is going to make its way to the north and east as well, likely impacting portions of Florida as a Category 1 or 2 storm later in the week. And there are hurricane watches now in effect for portions of northern and western Florida. Now you can see these colors beneath the track. That is a measure of how much energy is available for tropical storm and hurricane development. Uh, tropical systems are fueled by warm ocean waters and this time of August the water is very very warm and that's why we're seeing multiple systems tracking across the area and why they are able to get so strong so quickly. Now it is rather soon to talk about the long-term track of this tropical system, but a few of the models are showing that it might track a little bit uh, further to the north, and if it does, then that, some of that moisture could again make its way into our area this weekend. The bulk of the models right now are not showing that, so I think this weekend's going to be just fine, but it's good to know that that is a possibility. And as we take a look at the satellite right now, there's uh, Hurricane Franklin churning away. We can't see it, uh, Adalia, which is further off to the west, but for us, we're enjoying a nice evening and we'll enjoy a nice Monday as well as we time things out with your 24. We'll continue to see a few clouds, maybe a shower around as we head through the evening, but most of us will stay dry. Temperatures will drop back into the low 60s in the valleys, upper 50s in the hill towns. And as you walk outside tomorrow, don't be surprised if you see a little bit of fog uh, in the morning. That'll burn off pretty quickly though, and our Monday is looking really nice. Another B grade type of day for the first day of school for many in this area. And our temperatures tomorrow will top out in the mid to upper 70s, so a very comfortable day and probably the best day of the next several days to get outside as we head towards the evening hours again we may see a spotty shower so keep the umbrella most of us will stay dry now for August we've had quite a dry month compared to our July which was just raining all the time but we are uh, going to change that as we head through the week as we track these multiple tropical systems that are going to bring some of that moisture into our area which we can see here on our 10-day forecast Monday's nice Tuesday and Wednesday tracking that rain potential and then we dry it out towards the end of the week and then we may see something Friday into Saturday but overall it's looking like a relatively nice weekend that's check your forecast Matt over to you thanks Casey